Good morning, yeah, it's George from California. Woke up feeling pretty good today. Uh, thought I'd do a check-in. So we do when we're substance abuse counselors, we do a check-in with the groups. So, but this is about multiple sclerosis, an autoimmune condition that destroys our nerves. I've had it for 34 years. Uh, today I'm just gonna share with you, I've been on Ocrevus for going on a year and a half. It's feeling good, felt really good about it from the very beginning. Saw my neurologist, local neurologist, small town neurologist, about a week ago. She's feeling good about it. And she shared with me something that I thought was cool. And she thinks I'm doing good on Ocrevus, she's happy. But anyway, she says it's so hot these days, what you should do, and not that we don't all do it already, but we should be more conscious of it, is uh, get a water bottle, freeze it. When it's frozen, externally cool off your body. Drink it internally, so it's doing multi-purpose, external, internal helps keep our body cool. We know that if we have a lot of heat, we get fatigued, so we wanna do that. It's complex, I get it. But that's just a good suggestion that I'd share with you guys. Another thing that I found recently was uh, on the internet, found this on, on the Mayo Clinic, it's called Resilience, Building Our Strength through to Endure Through Hardships. I really like it because lots of times when you're dealing with something, you have to be resilient. You have to find your inner strength. And resilience helps you find your inner strength. I uh, once met a lady. She said my son was broadsided. He was a passenger in a car. His body's like yours. I uh, have uh, hemispastic paresis on the left side. He looked like he had a stroke. He was 11. I said, I don't know where you're going to find your strength, but you need to find it. He needs you. So we need to be strong, not only for ourselves to continue to endure dealing with our challenge, but strength for others. We just can't be like a, like a drain and use everybody else's strength for us. We need to be strong. We need to be resilient. So I'm going to have to refer to this document a little bit. So uh, resilience means uh, adapting to adversity and uh, if you're resilient it affects your mental health you know my I say that my and I know now that my nemesis my greatest foe dealing with the uh, physiological changes the changes in my body and you know once you have MS a lot of people don't get it I mean it's different it's totally different I'll use myself as an example Numb hands, numb feet, left-sided semi hemiparesis. That means that I have spasms, weakness on my left side. Left foot drop, left. Come on, how many people? A lot of people. If you went in my body, man, you go, you'd be depressed. But I'm not. I'm resilient. I'm strong. I'm trying to share that with you guys. Be strong. We have to be resilient because it affects our mental health. And and I, I, it's a mind, body, spirit connections. It's documented. I'm just repeating what's out there because it's good stuff. You know, when you feed your mind, you're going to empower yourself through knowledge, try to keep up to date. And I get it. You know, but now they have podcasts. If you have problems with your vision or cognitively, you have to love yourself. You have to repeat that. So you have to try to get focused. You need someone that will help you, you know, so you can continue to be resilient. We don't want to be depressed. It's really hard. So that's where we're going with resilience. Resilient, and this is a good paper. I'm going to print it or put it, the information where I got this is from the Mayo Clinic. I just sum, uh, condensed it and summarized it. Okay, so get connected. You know, I'm connected. I'm connected to my wife. We've been together 26, 27 years. Yeah, for a long time. I mean, come on. It's really hard to understand what somebody else is going through. They care about us. They love us. So we're not going to get mad at them if they don't get it. I mean, if we do have a little drama, I mean, that's how it is. But real, realize that MS also affects us cognitively, our thought process, and our moods. So if you know that, and, and you have to know that, you have to back off, slow down. We have to be connected. And if we're angry or moody, we're not going to be connected with people. So you have to figure out what's the best way to be connected. Try to understand that MS 
affects us and work on staying positive, being caring and sensitive towards other and get connected. You know, MS groups, they're all over the internet. Get your MS group going. Go to your local MS group. That'll help you. Make every day meaningful. Now I'm totally about that. Find meaning. Meaning, purpose, life. Gives you direction. You know, I, you know to this morning I got up, and my granddaughter is 11, my daughter's 10. I gave them the camera. I showed them how to use the camera. We took a bunch of pictures, and they learned, and we got some great pictures, and it was a, it was a meaningful day for them. MS can't be just about me. It's got to, you know, we have to be aware and sensitive of others. Be supportive to them. Find meaning. Make every day purpose meaningful. You know, you can find your own stuff. You know, my great grandma, my gra on and on and on. Find your own stuff. Learn from your experience. There's a lot of things we can learn. It's learning is just, it's nonstop. It's forever. You know, so learn. Learn, I always say, you don't lose if you learn the lesson. So whatever lesson you learn, whether it's not to speed in your car or, or use your cane so you don't fall or on and on and on, you're not going to lose if you learn the lesson. Remain hopeful. Oh, that's so huge. 34 years ago, it, if I look back, it was devastating. But I remain hopeful. And people remain hopeful. And times have changed. And at today, at 61 years of age, doctor says I have a youthful biological age. I'll say that I have a youthful mental and spiritual age, fortunate for me, because that's taxing, right? It's challenging. As we get older, things change. But I do. Remain hopeful. Find your way of hope finding hope. My dad, he was a, a Baptist minister, graduated uh, from with a doctor's in theology. He used to say, don't ever take anything away from somebody that you can't replace. Well, I took that as, if someone has faith, don't question their faith. Be happy for them. They have meaning. They have purpose. Their faith gives them their inner strength. Their faith keeps them resilient. My mom was really strength really strong. She was resilient. She had inner faith. Remain hopeful. Take care of yourself. You know, my family now more than ever, we're totally about nutrition. Mind, body, spirit connection. Again, you know, empower your, your mind through knowledge, body, nutrition. You know, if you don't know what to eat, don't eat what you're not supposed to eat, right? Be healthy, be good choices, you know, and it doesn't matter. You know, I'm going to say this because I was a substance abuse counselor and because I've seen how devastating drugs are and everybody has their own opinion, so I'm going to share mine. Medicinal marijuana, if you need it, it relieves your spasms. I get it, you need it. But there's a lot of other ways to treat spasms. And I smoked pot for a long time in high school, you know, so, but I'm not about that anymore. I got, I quit. I was lucky because it's, em, that's uh, emotionally addicting, you know, it fills a space, a void in our lives. So this isn't just about that, it's about other substances, you know, alcohol, whatever, you know, try to, try to keep your internal physiology at the cellular level healthy and you don't need drugs. Your choice, your stuff, whatever. Take care of yourself. Mind, body, spirit connection. Again, your spirit. Take care of your spirit. Nowadays, more than ever, I say, find peace and happiness will find you. You know that saying, misery loves company? Well, company doesn't love misery. So if you need company, we need our connections to be health, healthy. It's a rational process. It's a rational thought. Find peace. And happiness will find you. Strengthen those connections. Be proactive. And that's what this is about. Because we reciprocate. You know, today I'm feeling pretty passionate. I'm feeling really good. I'm all a, 
about sharing my thoughts. And that's cool. I'm totally about that. So be proactive, you know. Share your feelings, your positive energy with others. It'll come back to you. Karma goes, karma comes. It's cool. And last but not least, if you're having really hard times, seek professional help. Counseling. You know, I didn't know this, but counselors have to go to counselors to kind of get like a check-in to make sure they're okay. Well, this has been about 10 or 12 years when I decided I wanted to be a counselor. So if you need to go to a counselor, it's a good thing, man. They'll help you. And you know what? You might help them because we reciprocate in our interactions. So today, I'm sharing with you guys because I'm feeling pretty good, feeling real passionate, and... I found this paper on the Mayo Clinic about resilience. Be resilient. Life's too short to miss out. Take care. Lots of love to you, to everyone else. Namaste. George from California. Have a great day.